y'all today i'm gonna be doing um obviously a what's on your plate video sorry my screen getting dark okay a what's on your plate video obviously as you can see i'm gonna be making my homemade tomato sauce or no tomato sauce um basically what this sauce is good for probably gonna repeat myself so just excuse my brain um it's good for spaghetti which is what i'm making it for because i've been feeding for spaghetti for like three weeks so and i just didn't feel like making my sauce because it takes like a long time to make it well to me it takes a long time um yeah so i've been feeding for spaghetti for like three weeks so i'm not really showing you all my process of making my spaghetti just the process of making the sauce but it's homemade from scratch um there's other recipes out there but I do it this way simply because, you know, I have allergens. So what we're going to need, I'm going to show it in a video, but it's probably going to move too fast. So what you need is uh, sweet potatoes, carrots, beets, cornstarch, pepper, oregano, basil. I'm remembering off the top of my head. <laughs> um, balsamic vinegar, olive oil. You need a big pot, wooden spoon. You don't necessarily need a wooden spoon, but that's so you don't scratch up your pot. So I use a wooden spoon. You'll need a, a food processor, um, unless you plan on mixing all that up with your hands. That's cool if you want to do that. I'm not about that life. But yeah, um, is that all the ingredients you need? Um, I'm going to be adding a little bit of sea salt and a little bit of uh, Splenda, very, very little bit. Uh, sometimes I use bell peppers. I won't be doing that today. What else? Sometimes I use Parmesan cheese. I forgot it, so I'm not using that today. <laughs> um, I think that's it. I think that's it. If not, it'll be in the video. Yep, so that's what I'm doing, giving you my homemade, no tomato sauce, and no onion, no garlic. It's what works for me. It's what allows me to be able to have spaghetti and pizza and lasagna and all those things. My own version. So that I'm not missing out on your typical, you know, uh, hearty, I guess, kind of foods and stuff. So, with that being said, let's get to it. I'm doing a whole lot with my hands today. But, with that being said, let's get to it. All right, y'all.
So what I usually do, well this is where the rest of the sauce will go, but it's still hot, so I'm letting it sit out for a while. But I usually do take a piece of paper and I write today's date, um, what it is, tape it on a container, because this usually lasts me for months. I know that's like weird, but maybe it's not really, it's really not, but it lasts me for some months. And I go in when I want some and uh, throw it out, take a portion, put that in the uh, refrigerator, put this back in the freezer. So probably in like a few weeks or something, I may want pizza. So I'll take it out, throw it, and then put the rest in the refrigerator. And then I'll be able to have it for whatever else I may want. So this lasts me for months. Usually if I, like say I'm going to put this in the freezer today, which is the 8th, it'll last me until mm, maybe like April. It'll last me until about April because it will fill up this whole container. So it'll last me until about April. So that's, that's not too bad. They don't have to make a new batch. Wait till April. But the sauce is good for pizza. Uh, 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 chicken parm, lasagna, ravioli, uh, meatball subs, you know, whatever. So I'm gonna put today's date, which is one eight seventeen. This is my no tomato sauce. Slapping on top. No baby. Yep. Just put the date. No tomato sauce. Just so I know what it is when I go to the refrigerator. Yeah. Yep. And that's it. There you have it. Not the prettiest looking plate, but that's it. That's my sauce. Um, no tomato sauce. You should have saw it from beginning to end. That's my homemade sauce that I use since I can't have tomatoes. Um, sometimes I put peppers, like bell peppers in it. Um, Parmesan cheese. Sometimes I don't. You can season it the way you like, but this is the way I do it to make sure that I have no allergens in it. Um, right here is my meat-free crumble. Uh, so it's like ground beef, but... No beef. Uh, this is zucchini, uh, zucchini and spinach noodles mixed in here because I ran out. So it's also just regular spaghetti noodles as well. But that's my plate. So I'm about to eat. And remember to always be as ill as you can be. I'm out, y'all.